Thanks a lot, Leon. Thanks a lot. I'll, Thanks I'll give you a call you. sometime. All right. Good seeing you again. Okay. Uh, Wait, there's a meeting tonight? <laughs> yeah, where is, uh, missing? Oh, yeah. Missing the picture. Missing the meeting, you know? Hey, uh, Greg, want to help me out with something? Yeah. We're trying to get a little bit more onto the Roberts, but... Oh, boy. Do you want to help coach me a little bit? I know I know limited things. Okay. I can, I can do my best. Okay. You know, I, I'm more used to the condensed, you know, idiot, not the idiot's guide, yep. but <laughs> yep. uh, the beginner's guide to... Yeah. Uh, I did read that. I read that book cover to cover, but not. It kept old Buckovich in order, hadn't it? Oh, I definitely read the sections on disciplinary procedure. <laughs> All right. Well, no, we're still missing people, but we're also kind of late. Yeah. So, call to order. Uh, take a roll call, Matt. Do you want to take the roll call? Yeah. Or do it visually. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. I have another pop. We'll bring it up for you. Okay. Okay. Uh, just Diet Coke with grenadine. This is the main thing I had a question about, maybe you know. For the approval of the agenda, if I want to add something to new business, do I do that now or before new business? Uh, you would do it now because you want to approve. The, you would want to. You would add it then to the new agenda. The drink. Uh, Guys, uh, the one thing that I wanted to uh, add to the agenda under uh, new business is I want to take a vote to sort of suspend the grace period we've been in and uh, require dues to be paid for paying members to be due on uh, the, the, the next meeting. Yes, just I'm not to leave. Yeah, <laughs> so I'll, I'll keep you guys some money somehow. <laughs> we need to make a motion then? Just to amend the uh, agenda, that we're, that's what we're yeah. going to discuss. Right. So. I'll second that. Second. All right, take a vote. Everybody say yes. Uh, Aye. All right, there we go. That's all I wanted to do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> and does everybody approve of this agenda? Yes. Yes, yes we yeah, do. All right. And uh, do we need to hear the minutes of the uh, March meeting? I can pass them around or I can read them. It wasn't a real meeting, though. Yeah, I mean, I got a little bit. There you go. Oh, Kim's here. So, mm -hmm. Dude's well, running. This meeting was oh. kind of a real I, meeting. I sent it to everybody in the email, too. Uh, yeah. uh, yeah. Todd's dues. Todd's dues. Yes. It's only, they're only 10 bucks. I know, but uh, the ten dollar, uh, ten extra dollars is a donation for the party. Anybody need to see the uh, higher must meet minutes? All right, that. Okay. All right. Uh, open floor. Anybody have anything for open floor? Um, I guess uh, I will be going um, on my deployment. I will okay. be with. Um, 
Uh, one of my friends is uh, Master Sergeant Daryl Bublitz, and he is intending to run for two positions. One of them is to try and be in the primary for governor. So uh, uh, I will be working with him in the next six months with that. Uh, we have another guy uh, we're going to be working with. And then I have another person who's going to be actually in my shop over there, who's actually an old friend of mine uh, from uh, tech school. And he's very liberty-leaning as well. So we've got four libertarians uh, in our uh, group that are going to be over there. So Interesting. We're going to be educating a lot of people. Fantastic. So uh, what was the pictures of you and Dr. Paul? Oh, yeah, so um, it was at the Y'all Conference uh, on uh, April 1st. And uh, a very good conference, by the way. Um, Not an April Fool's uh, joke, right? No. I'm sorry? I'm just sorry. Thank <laughs> you. Um, you. The uh, yeah, it's funny because they you know like the, the Michigan people like represent really well, especially since um, um, Ty Hicks is from Michigan and he's the vice um, uh, vice mayor, president, I think, of the oh. entire organization. <laughs> so, and they are pretty much the large, like the fastest growing movement in, yeah. in Liberty because uh, I think they start in 2009 is when they really like started and everything because after Ron Paul ran in 2008 and they wanted to make this permanent base of everything, they had like 27 chapters and now it's like between eight and 900. Uh, they have a massive reach and I had gotten, um, I had made a donation of $150 and that's why I got to go in this private, um, oh. This private group, there was like 30 people who got to be in this private meeting <laughs> with uh, with the doctor, and um, you know we got to see some of the uh, exclusive reports and stuff like that. And that organization has like three million dollar budget now. Do they consider themselves to be nonpartisan, or are they mostly Republicans? Or well, it's obviously it's they mostly Republicans, but are they strictly Republicans? <laughs> See, no, no, I wouldn't say that. Um, but l let's face it, it is mostly Republican. When, yeah. when you have speakers like Thomas Massey, Justin Amash, yeah. and Ron Paul, and Adrian Napolitano, yeah, I think you're pretty much, uh, <laughs> you're pretty much yeah. Republican uh, sort of thing. But, I mean, it's clearly that they're not Trump Republicans or Paul Ryan Republicans. They're, they're Liberty Republicans. So, mm -hmm. um, I, I think we can, we can say that they are basically the college libertarians, whatever you want to call yeah. that. Um, but uh, the, the good news is like, they do a lot of good things. They, for, uh, they spend $75 on um, activism kits, huh. which are mostly pocket constitutions and other liberty uh, sort of um, literature signs, uh, the Nolan chart quizzes, things like that. And I think that's where we win the most, especially among yeah. young people, is the simplistic um, uh, way of promoting things, you, you hand out a pocket constitution. These, are, despite having access to the internet, and despite having things like in, in history books and stuff like that, I don't think anybody really ever reads the constitution, but if you're given a free pocket constitution and then people hear about it on the news all the time, um, uh, I, I was handing them out in secret because uh, the college didn't want me to uh, back, in, uh, back in August at Macomb. And, uh, and, some, and there was a group of kids that came by, and you know, I was asking, hey, you guys want some pocket constitutions? And they're like, yeah, you know what? It's getting dangerous out here nowadays. Let's all get some. And so I you know, gave them all like half a dozen. They all, they all loved it. So it, it's having that simple outreach. And that, I think one of the biggest problems, especially with young libertarians, because you know, once they get a hold of the ideology at the age of 20 or 22, they immediately think they know everything in the world because they've read a bar or something like that. So they get in this mindset of, you know, uh, if you even have an inkling toward something even like minarchy or something like that, your, your evil status or anything like that, I'm like, no, you, you can have your beliefs, but also realize not everybody, the most of people are not anywhere near what you're at, or even in a place where people can agree on it. It's, we, we can all benefit society if everyone, if the whole society went just 20% more toward our sort of uh, area on the political compass. But until we get to that moment in time, we got to offer the olive branch to anybody willing to accept it. Oh, yeah, I see that one. Yeah. 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 I, was, I was actually considering reaching out to the 
Oh. Y-A-L-F. M-C-C. Um, so do you have to know somebody? Mitchell Steffen. As far as our website was concerned when I looked into it yesterday, they have it. They're know. always on and off. Um, are you are you going to uh, do something for them or anything? Or? Well, I, I wanted to reach out to them, but I wasn't sure if they happen to lean more libertarian or not. Um, I'm going. I would like to reach out regardless. Um, can Can you do me a, a favor, please? Um, I actually actually I have a. Uh, I, st I never get because uh, they lent it to me back in August, and I was never able to get it back to them. It's the. Uh, I, I guess it's their. Um, their like. Wall long poster or whatever. It's still in the back of my car. <laughs> oh, um, a, post, a poster? Yeah, it, 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 oh, it's okay. just like it's just a, it's in a oh, tube. Yeah. It's not that big, mm -hmm. it, but it's like uh, it's just been in my car this whole time. They're, they're yeah, it's in my car. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just catch it. Yeah, I'll just I'll get it. And, yeah. All right, cool. Thank you so much. Um, but no, uh, you take a look at. Um, the outreach and stuff, especially at like you, you know you go to a, uh, a y'all event. And not everybody is a cookie cutter, um, ANCAP or minarchist libertarian. No, it's 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 a wide range of people. You have yeah. some people even on the left who come in there. You had they had well, there were some trolls in there wearing MAGA um, stuff, and they kind of <laughs> ruined the free speech wall. But um, yeah, oh, the the Trump hats and shirts, you know, they they yeah. were just trolls. But regardless. <laughs> I'm certain that there were people there who did actually probably vote for Trump, but I mean, I don't think that they are Trumpist in nature. Did, not they, a, did they endorse somebody for president? Um, or do I, they not really? They, oh, um, I think the only person they had endorsed in the last election cycle was Rand before he dropped out. I don't think they endorsed Gary, but at the same time, you know, it's clear to see, you know, Gary and Ron never saw I die, yeah. but. Which is a real shame because you know, I, while I, I wouldn't think it would, be, you know, I don't think Ron Paul would, you know, support Gary Johnson in in his things. It is kind of like this unnecessary kind of bad blood that goes on in, in yeah. the libertarian circles, and it's just kind of annoying, really. Right. Yeah. Um, that that's kind of what happened with. Um, you remember when we were uh, at the dinner with Austin and how he said about how. Um, Gary was all, uh, like angry at him for even yeah. just thinking about him. Um, yeah. like, right. And that's just the problem I also see with a lot of things. It's when you have people running, you gotta realize you got you have a message to spread. You can't have it as a dick measuring contest. Yeah, so, right. It's and and, and I don't want to say it because it's not everybody, but there are some people out there who are the most vocal, and they say I'm more libertarian than you. Yeah. Um, it's like, okay, we agree on 90%, 95% of the same things. Why do you got to go that one extra inch? Just, uh, you, what, you want an award for it? Because, right. you know, you, that's where our pension for caring about semantic service hurts us. Yeah, exactly. exactly. I'm guilty. <laughs> I'm guilty. Anything, anything else for open floor? I have a quick thing to talk about. Yeah. Um, so many of you now, uh, may not know me. I'm Greg from. I'm actually an Oakland County guy, um, and I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about local elections in Macomb County. Uh, one thing the party, a lot of affiliates like to do an odd number yeah. to use is to, to pick a council race or a mayor's race to try to work on a libertarian campaign for those. Um, Oakland County, we've got one elected libertarian, Andy Lacuro. He's running for re-election in Hazel Park, and we have rumors of another person might be running for uh, office too. Um, so, uh, Lecuro, L-E-C-U-R-E-A-U-X. Uh, Hazel Park does not have primaries, so he'll be just in the general election. Um, so for some of you that might be running for state rep, you know, in two years, maybe putting your name for council may give you a little more press right. or just some practice. Uh, so really quickly, the cities that are going to be having um, primaries, so you'll need to file by April 25th, uh, that would be Centerline, New Baltimore, St. Clair Shores and Sterling Heights. Sterling Heights is interesting because they have six council seats up this year. Um, uh, Utica and Warren do not have elections this year. Uh, so then the cities that have um, general elections only uh, will be East Point, Frazier, Gross Point Shores, Memphis, Mount Clemens, Roseville, and that's it. 
Uh, so those will be, uh, that's a July 25th filing deadline. So just something to think about. Um, you know, they're nonpartisan, so you'll probably get more than 3% of the vote. Right. And you um, have to live in the city? Yeah. yeah. And you'll want to check with your city. Some will be signatures, some will be a fee, some either or, each city specific. So just something to think about for uh, activities uh, for later this year. Uh, side note, I've actually also yeah. applied for a ZBA. Uh, Zoning board? Of yep. Oh, cool. Sweet. Uh, I know Robert Kaminsky, Chris Kaminsky, who uh, is the head over there. Mm -hmm. um, one of the people in the Michigan Taxpayer Alliance actually hooked me up with him. So we're hoping that my application will get expedited and kind of pushed through, but I'm still waiting to hear back from it. Oh, right. Yeah, most cities have appointed positions too, and that's another thing. Lot that's of not the driving. Driving but then you're you know you're stuck on this sort of administrative technical board that you have to. So do. For, forgive me, I'm a little unclear. What would that do for you? Um, the zoning board of appeals will not only give me a little bit of notor notoriety as far as my name, but it's a good position for somebody like me who's a builder because I know a lot about zoning. So, it's, so, so if somebody appeals a zoning... Let's uh, just say, okay, I'm building my pole barn next year. That would go to you? Right. Well, I'm building my pole barn next year. So I'm only allowed up to 1,500 square feet. If I wanted to go bigger, I would have to go in front of the Zoning Board of Appeals. And... Okay. Yeah, that that's... I'm good. Okay. Like... Uh, I applied to the uh, Arboreum Commission Committee, and that's just, I mean, obviously not a lot to do there, it's just an Arboreum that sits there, but maybe I can find a lawn service that costs less or find volunteers, or if they need a new bench, maybe we can get a donation instead of taking it out of, you know, 50 bucks of taxpayer money. Right. So all these little things, parks and recreation boards, Stuff like that. And then you get to learn more how to you learn more. Yeah. yeah. You get to meet people and what that's specific. Invaluable. Like your resume, you know, now you're not just some libertarian who's gonna, who has nothing on your resume. You have these municipal things you've done. So. Right. Um, have we looked any more into, I don't know if this is actually even on the agenda. I haven't seen the agenda. Um, <laughs> It is not. Have we looked any more into the uh, adopt a highway? I was just going to bring that up during a uh, community outreach oh, director. Good. Okay, sorry. All right. Uh, appointments, no appointments to discuss except for. Uh, I think we can bring it up at this point. Uh, Cat uh, Virgin isn't sure she's going to maintain her membership. So uh, come the. Uh, our actual convention, uh, there might be another uh, director, at large, director at large position available. That, I mean, they're all tech, all positions are technically available. Just right. one's going to be certainly uncontested. <laughs> well, not certainly. Actually, she hasn't decided yet. She's juggling. Okay. Okay, and then we'll start with new business. And new business. We'll start with Todd's bylaw amendment. Well, uh, I sent him an email. He did. I did print out a couple copies. Well. Oh. Actually, I would be interested in discussing the membership director position. It's like a little tiered thing, you know, throw in there. We can change the wording or anything, or if yeah. you have that. But as far as the discussion the for appointments, I, I think pretty much we're just going to leave everything how it is for now and then wait till the convention to the convention yeah and and then we'll have all our because right now we have, we have our core you know chair I'm trying to make it as easy as possible but we just have, we have our directors where we adopted the open county bylaws so now we got different seats so we're just going to keep the at large directors until the convention uh, okay. I would say anyways have we decided when our convention is going to be I can't remember we have it. no that's on the agenda too I okay i'm sorry I'm on some painkillers, don't mind me. <laughs> yeah, that's, I can walk a little bit. Oh, uh, no, this will be like just our explicit oh, county okay. convention. Uh, do you want to just present? <laughs> well, this is an idea that I had, you know, like to make our membership more friendlier whatever um 
what we could do is um, um, if the bylaws pass, uh, they would just, you know, um, you know, require that you pay the dues that are presented, you know, the, the choices that you would pick for membership in the party for the year. Um, like the annual membership would be 10 bucks, which is what we all agreed to pay anyway. And then there's certain levels of membership that you could choose for the full year, depending on how you guys want to go with it. And uh, the top one, which is under A, is like a lifetime membership. You pay that one time, boom, you're a member for life. Okay. You can still donate to the party or whatever, right. but, you know, it's... That's just, um, I, I got the idea from the, uh, the state party website um, and I was going through when I was perusing the national party website and the state party website. So I thought, why not? And if at some point later, if we want say, uh, Something along the lines of um, a Liberty um, a monthly pledger thing where you just donate or like, you know, give five bucks, 10 bucks, 15, whatever the amount is, that would cover the full cost of your, you know, your, your entire uh, membership in the party. If I could interject real quick, do we have on the website uh, Nikki, the ability to pay dues online or no? I have a form I haven't published yet. Okay, and just curious. I would like to connect it to the credit card Right, right. No, that's why I'm asking. I didn't know if that was, we, were, we had talked about it. I didn't know if it was up and running yet. So, uh, Thank you. Right on. No, 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 no worries, no worries. Um, would that be directly linked with our bank account or? It should be. Right. No, that's why I ask. Not yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you can do it through PayPal, I bet. Um, so that's how they did it the last time. We're done. So, yeah. Okay, anybody? Uh, you know, actually, I have one uh, thing. So. Is has... Uh, uh, the basic annual membership at ten dollars, but I think the bylaws yes. we approved we that got approved by the state has it at twenty dollars. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We did adopt Oakland, so Oakland had it at twenty. We decided to stick with that. Okay. So. We did. Oh well, um, I guess the twenty I donated is just. <laughs> <laughs> Just covers the cost of the membership for the year, anyway. Right. So we can change that. Yeah, we couldn't get affiliated at these bylaws. We couldn't get affiliated. Oh, why did we go So we'll definitely have to amend the the amendment, right? Amend the amendment. Point. Can I bring a point of order? Yeah. If you do truly adopt the Oakland County bylaws, the last amendment says these bylaws may be amended by a two thirds vote of delegates present at the convention. Mm -hmm. So it would, I would think it'd be out of order to amend your bylaws today. Good point. Yeah. Good point. All right. Uh, so which we, we have to look at, Todd, you definitely want to change the wording on it and then we'll vote on the convention then? Yeah. What the we'll do that. Before the convention, the only thing, another thing I was. Um, considering is for like the lifetime membership something about like okay you're a lifetime member but then you move to I don't know some other county or like, well that's true that works. yeah I mean we don't have to have that that's I'm just not, I an option say, I'm just like something in there just so yeah if it comes up 10 years from Maybe. now or something, I don't know. that's sure. that's a good point all right well so I guess we'll just call this out of order we can table it until the table it till the convention. Seems more yeah. polite way to frame it. <laughs> What's the status of the bylaws? Um, the bylaws. These are not. And these aren't them. These are not them. Those did not. Okay. Good. So the 
$20. Thanks, Greg. <laughs> the, uh, no, Thank you for putting Thank that out, Greg. Right. I didn't take that I into account. No yeah. Yes. Uh, I'll make that motion. Okay. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, and then next we have the uh, convention planning. Um, I think as far as planning is concerned is picking a date. It has to be before the state convention. State conventions, 29th, July 29th. July 29th. Yes. Should we get this done in June or wait till July? I mean, honestly, we could we could get it done next month if we wanted. All right. I mean, does the convention have to be anything in particular? Just it's just meeting. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. we're all put a sign yeah, outside the door that says convention. And yeah, it's a meeting that they invite more people than than are normally mm -hmm. attended. So probably just your regular meeting. Time. If we can convention. find a decent exactly. day, we could always do it at my house. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll know. We'll know what opens. We'll, 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 <laughs> well, because well, one, one, I, can I bring up a little thing about the county convention? Yeah. Uh, so the state party has to issue their call a convention sixty days before, which would be May thirtieth. Yeah. Um, so in Oakland, we got ourselves into a little pickle. We announced we'd be picking delegates. Uh, so, but even though the state has an issue to call the convention, so I would recommend doing it after May third, probably your June or July. Meeting, yeah, we'll June and July both sounded best to me. May third, May third, I think you said both. I is thirty days, before, six days before. When would the June meeting be? Do you the June meeting? Let's I find out the actual date. So June would be the 14th? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Uh, and then what, what, uh, what's July? Uh, July, I'm sorry, would be... 12th? Yep. July 12th? Now, do we have to do it on a normal monthly meeting? Or well, I already say? gave these guys like the next full years of reservations, so we already have those dates pegged down. <laughs> 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 we don't necessarily have to have it here. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Like, we could even do a freaking cookout at my place and hang out, actually make it a convention. <laughs> well, I do. <laughs> it's good times. Uh, do we all get podiums? <laughs> you know, the one thing <laughs> is uh, hopefully by... Uh, now and then, uh, Matt and I will have reached out to either members, former members of the previous group or those registered with the state party who live in Macomb County but haven't been to any of these meetings yet. Which is a fantastic idea. So if you uh, volunteer your house for that, you might not know who you're <laughs> inviting over. <laughs> that part I don't really care so much about because I want to do it outside. Okay. I do have tents and stuff like big ass tense. Um, but, what was I going to say? Yeah, if that were the case, then June would probably be best. But if not, then we can always do it here, too. Mm -hmm. um, we should at least get the date set today, then. We're going to set uh, per se. Yeah. Should we, well... Yeah. And that's why I asked. Should we do we have want like to do a, it uh, on a normal uh, second about, Wednesday, or do we want to do it on a weekend day? Well, do, do we need a convention planning committee? <laughs> I was going to say, if you were inviting more people, um, the weekend might work better for them. But mm -hmm. the and that's here, why I said. We say. know the people here can make this time. Yeah. No matter what, right. Yeah. And that's why I asked, though, if we want to get more people involved, a Saturday might work better. Um... And then also to vote, they would have to be dues-paying members. So we would have to get in contact with them, right. give them. Which you'd want to probably try to get done by next month, which would be May, in order for June or even July. But I feel like July would be kind of pushing it, especially if anything is contested. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Could people like uh, pay those dues at the convention if they just yeah. Yeah, we don't have any. Right. Uh, oh, yeah, we don't no, have any. No waiting period. Mm, okay. Yeah, there's no uh, probationary period, <laughs> so to speak. Yeah, we tweaked o Oakland's bylaws on that one. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Three from the people that are already members. 
you had any particular person in mind you wanted to do it, so, that would be the time for the national. I guess my question would be is... Say invite um, or not invite. <laughs> either or. <laughs> yeah, really. Um, I guess my question is, have we now officially set a tentative date until we figure out... We'll have to make a motion. Right? So... April already, huh? Um, <laughs> I'll make a motion. Yep. Oh, so make a second. Uh, second. Second. You say July 14th? June, June 14th. June 14th. Yeah. June 14th. <laughs> so it will take a week of that? Second. That's a Wednesday. It's here to fall. And I'm okay with that. I'm just asking. Okay. Just to ask. Uh, you know what? Just let's not get in over our heads. So, yeah, second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. Epstein. <laughs> Very gentlemanly. <laughs> <gentleman, Leo. laughs> okay, and uh, just my motion to uh, sort of suspend this sort of grace period we've been in where we're all voting on stuff, even though so far nobody but Todd's paid dues, and that's only been for a few minutes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we'll uh, technically that's good up until uh, that month. But, we'll yeah. we'll start uh, enforcing the rule of you need to be a dues paying member to vote on anything. Starting uh, and but do just to mention just it's not required to be a dues paying member to attend the meetings. Right. Just to vote. Uh, <coughs> so yeah, but to suspend our ability to vote in the future. No. We're going to suspend our ability to vote for free in the future. <laughs> but it's voluntary, so it's okay. And again, I mean, if, if you are a member of a state or national party, you, you don't have to pay the McComb. It, it would help. We would definitely appreciate it. But. Well, I'm a member of both, so screw you guys. Freedom at last. Freedom at last. Yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah. You can't. I can't do it. All right. So, yeah. All right. Are we going to make a Yeah, so the motion is to start enforcing the bylaws as written. <laughs> starting, <laughs> starting, starting, starting at the next meeting. Second. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All right, it's got it. All right, and that's the end of new business and reports. I'll start just with mine. As far as community outreach is concerned, I don't think we really need to bring this to a vote. I think we're just going to sign up for both of these things and whoever wants to show up can show up. Uh, John had all the information figured out for... Habitat for Humanity. Habitat, Habitat for Humanity. Yep. So I'll just... Okay, so um, we have quite a few different dates that we can choose from. I, however, didn't see anything that's actually that I think would work for us until like July. Okay. So I don't have that info with me. I, like I said, I ran right here from the doctor, but um, I did have a meeting Monday with um, Richard, I believe his name was, and he gave me all the info on what they do. We'll probably be working with another group. We'll see how it goes. Um, they want about 15 to 20 of us if we can. If that's too many, then we can always work with multiple groups, but I figured I'd rather us have kind of more of the spotlight. It could always be something like, I'll go, but even though they're not members, I'll probably bring my dad and my brother. Right. And, and vice versa. I'm actually, can... <clears throat> I'm actually uh, debating, and I will, would obviously run this by you guys too, um, co-sponsoring it with my company because we are builders and yeah. having my crew come on the job too. That way we can A, get more knocked out and B, a little bit of double exposure there. Yeah. If we walk down the day, I can get four or five builders. Which would be, yeah, absolutely fantastic. It's going to be a, uh, it's probably going to be a Saturday. Um, they have a bunch of stuff during the week, but honestly, we all have day jobs, so it'd be better yeah. for a weekend for us, I believe. And you're just killing me on this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, more. Um, <laughs> we, no, we we all absolutely do yeah. more because uh, I even talked to Rich and he said if everything works out well with your group, then I'm sure we're gonna want you guys back. So, and like I said, it's a it's a fantastic way to get some notoriety. And obviously with Leon, he has so many people in the press. 
he said he'd be willing to do a press release for us. Hmm. Wow. Which I thought was really awesome of him. Okay, and then the other thing that we looked at um, for community outreach, and like I said, I'm just going to do it, and whoever wants to show up is the uh, Adopt a Highway. I think that's awesome. And I'm just going to find the best spot, and uh, what that requires of, this, of us is uh, there's two cleanup dates. There's a spring and a fall. Yep. So there's three. There might be three. I could be remembering. <laughs> I used to have the highway. Oh, okay. Adopted, so, and, uh, um, yeah, there's usually spring. I caught contact him thinking months. that I was had a specific area that I wanted that said it was mm -hmm. available. They were so far behind that that one wasn't actually available, and they gave me a piece of I-75. Oh, okay. So, um, okay. so yeah, you kind of just have to yeah. contact them and find out what they have available because oh, okay. the signs will deceive you. This yeah, the one that says available hasn't been available for right. six months. They just haven't got around to making a new sign. Right. Gotcha. So. <clears throat> Shooting from Macomb County, right. and when yeah. we figure out where it is, I'll. Like 53 would obviously be yeah. fantastic. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. All right, but that's. Uh, that's everything we discussed at uh, Community Outreach. Uh, my, my bank, my bank wouldn't, uh, wouldn't let me open an account for a. Uh, Endorsed candidate, and I said, "Well, we're that's paying weird. Weird. That seems like something that could pose a, an issue in the future. Maybe if you were unavailable for whatever reason. Oh, you gotta, you'll have to open another account, I guess. I don't know. I took it, it was it wasn't easy. I can only imagine. It was yeah. not easy. Mm -hmm. It took me a long time to, you know, it took like two hours in there talking to you. Jeez. And uh, so would you be moving out the Grand No, I'd be I'd be coming here. And I live here. Yeah. yeah. And I'd just be working there on thirty a model. I'm kind of hoping that it doesn't happen. Yeah. But I did yeah. kind of commit to it. They asked me, if, you know, two months ago whether I do it or not. I did that. Right. And uh, kind of hoping that I don't have to do it. I could retire and I could do everything I want. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. But uh, I, I haven't made a commitment to it. But I don't know. Well, so I got the. Uh, yeah, I got the account. Yeah, sure. And uh, how that works and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do. It. We should really appreciate it. Because I've been to every meeting since we started. So I And I have to keep going with the direction of the business. How we can handle the, the funds and stuff. I don't know. I'm not going to work. I mean, I mean, if I'm out of town, the, uh, I, I don't even know how long the job's going to last. If it's a good job, I might have a scam. That's all I got. <clears throat> oh, sorry. All right, and Todd for the vice chair report. Okay, so basically, um, I did a few things. Number one, I uh, aside from doing that amendment that we just tabled, um, I wrote up a resolution. Um, regarding the Anchor Bay uh, bond proposal that just came out. Um, right now, I spoke with uh, the county department of assessing, and she told me that per mills, um, I guess it's 36.099, according to her. And I had this on record because I, I recorded the conversation. <laughs> so, so, um, but, uh, but anyway, um, I wrote up a resolution and I was wondering if we'll get to it next month or tonight or whenever everybody looks at it and we'll we'll see uh, how it plays out. I like the language that I've written so far, so good. Um, let's see what else. I, uh, I'm going to, um, I project that the, probably the newsletter will come out maybe next month or maybe uh, maybe uh, in June but I'd like to start a newsletter committee 
and uh, maybe a four member committee if, if anybody wants to help me with it because I looked at the Microsoft um, Word templates for the newsletters. They suck. <laughs> So, um, I heard you were saying, Nikki, that, uh, or I think one of you that... I was able to set up a MailChimp account okay. in your box, so, and they do have templates for the Okay. Members. Yeah, I have a MailChimp account, too, somewhere, um, but maybe I can take a look at it and, and you know, use the template there, so that would probably work better, because yeah. I don't like Microsoft's. Um, but, uh, also, um, aside from that, my final part of, of, uh, of my report here is, um, the, uh, aside from all this, um, there's going to be, um, aside from the committees, I, I would like, um, I'm uh, actually, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, but other than that, um, the, um, there's uh, a lot of other stuff uh, happening right now. Um, I'm going to be working on, um, you know, getting um, the word out about the party. Oh, I remember now. I, I just remembered it. It just hit me. Um, the uh, I emailed one of the people from the um, Young Libertarians for Liberty to see if we can get a guest speaker for next month. And if we can get somebody, if there is a Macomb chapter, I don't know if there is a Macomb chapter because I went to their website. I couldn't find a Macomb chapter. Yeah. So. They do? Okay. So, um, I, I think um, that... The, the problem is like some people like they've not done... Yeah, so... Next, I don't know. Gotcha. That's pretty much about it. Exactly. Um, that's all I have to report for now. If, um, if worse comes to worse, um, or no, no, if, if, the, if he can ever find time, um, obviously probably not next month, but sometime down the line, I can uh, email Ty Hicks. And, okay. Because he is a Michigander. He, he went to Central. Um, right now, he's going across the country because he's the one pretty much doing all these y'all events right now, and they're doing one like every week. Oh, cool. Right. And so, but if you really want to create like a speaker, one, he's very influential right now, especially how young he is. He's right. a couple years younger than me. Two, he is one of the greatest um, speakers you, you will ever hear. He is like a true blue motivational speaker. Hmm. So, um, yeah, please. You, um, you want to get him here? Uh, and because it'd be great for him, I can tell him, you know, this could be a good way for you to help kick off, you know, Liberty and Macomb County because that's one thing we've noticed here is that this can be kind of a turning point in the entire state, right? This county, this is. Mm -hmm. This is the political checkmate of the entire state. Right. You know, this is what turned a blue state into a red state. And if we can turn, and we get more of a gold influence here, that could have uh, have a big effect on the rest of the uh, the rest of the state. Because my money on the gubernatorial race next year is it's probably going to be Hackle versus Miller. So it's right. going to be a Macomb County showdown. Well. Unless we turn out, well, unless we turn out, uh, say, um, a libertarian Canada who is very well financed. That's the emphasis on the word well financed. Libertarian and well financed. Uh, that's not really an yeah. easy combination. Well, we're getting off track here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, Ty Hicks, T-Y... I'm pretty sure I'm actually Facebook friends with him. I think I'm Facebook friends with him too. I'm sorry, Mike. But uh, Todd, anything else? That's about it. Okay. Sorry yeah. to interrupt. I'm my bad. That's okay. Chair yeah. report. And for the chair report, uh, most of what I had to say I got done in community outreach, but there is the obvious. This is our first meeting being recognized as the official affiliate for Macomb County. <laughs> 
So now uh, the biggest things we do now is, uh, you know, we're going to select our delegates to go to the state convention. Uh, obviously, we had a much better turnout at the uh, special convention than we did at the last regular convention, and I want to keep that trend going. And uh, yeah, that's it. that's about it. I focused everything on a community outreach already, so yeah, we're official now. Awesome. Yeah, the uh, state party meeting, which approved us, it was it went very well. Absolutely. Aside a couple of what the point, what's the point resolutions that Jeff Wood wanted, but <laughs> that. <laughs> Um, but <laughs> since we're running late, we'll skip uh, open floor. I said one thing for open floor. Um, oh. The meetup group still lists the location for this meeting at that art studio. Are you the one who showed up there last month? Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we got to uh, we got to get that changed. We actually were just talking about that. Yesterday or the day before? Oh, yeah, because Paul was going to email me. So yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Who, who, who owns the website? He messaged me. It said former was a was a I, I It says it. an angel or something is the lead. It, it uh, says Angela Fisher is the lead organizer. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what this website is. Meetup. Meetup. <laughs> com. Oh. It's where we have, they, they the also list the sites state. on the state website. Right. They also listed on the Unfortunately, I, I wasn't able to change the event as I'm not an organizer. You have to be a paid subscriber. Um, right. So, right. Fulner's a paid subscriber that could probably do it? Well, I saw Fulner's name when I pulled it up. I saw him as a co coordinator. Mm -hmm. okay. I love to message. Was anybody able to get a reply back from Angela Fisher? Or I was Angela Fisher. I don't know who was. I know Angela Lowry. She came to some of our meetings, but I remember her at the December meeting. But uh, we only had that set up one time. We never have a meeting there. That's Lowry. Angela Lowry. Yeah, but. I'm not I don't know who Fisher is. Yeah. Well, thank you for bringing that yeah. to our attention. That's yeah, obviously. We know, uh, we know oh, yeah, I guess that's the other thing is. But we don't know how to change. Obviously, we've been in and out of, you know. Venues. Venues, but uh, I had some email with the managers here, and I already have our reservations in for the next year. So, yeah. Fantastic. So, we're state official. We have a permit yep. home compared to. Danny J's, which Danny J's or the weirdo art studio. Or... No, and this is phenomenal. I mean, it's very nice. The ability to close the doors and like be that's so much better. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah, that's a good point. This is better than all those are. Uh, a lot better Maybe we could have like you know Congrats. like a Skype. Thing. So I was yeah. talking to uh, Tim, but if you guys, when's done. your next open meeting? <laughs> no, okay, no, next one's. Right. Uh, Let's see if you guys could maybe bring up the tax day thing, because yeah, it's the day before. Right, yeah. but yeah, maybe even like send out an email to people because I mean we're not that far from you guys. As many people as we can okay. get out there. Oh, um, no, yes. Uh, like yeah. nice I appreciate it. You want to check in there? Yeah? yeah, I think it'd be cool to get as many libertarians out there as possible. Between yeah. 5.30 and 7. Yeah. Where is it? You can probably get there later. Um, Mount Clemens Post Office. Because that's where everybody's going to be dropping off their tax info. So it's, it's a few blocks. It's in the island that's in between northbound and southbound Gresh. Yeah. Yeah. I actually have a Facebook event south. for it. I'll send that to you uh, tonight. Yeah, I, I saw Center next to yeah. the courthouse. Uh, you know, it's, a, it's a few bucks. Yeah, yeah. 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 I actually had a campaign sign. Yeah, yeah that general vicinity. Yeah. Oh, really? My friend uh, Brad, who is angry at me for some reason. Now. See, I wish I had the time. I would. I would actually make you guys the signs because I can. I can make a pretty good. Oh, that's good because I didn't get all my back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> unfortunately, I do not have the time. Yeah. Well. Motion to adjourn. Sure motion to adjourn. Yeah. Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> Because I think I did tell them 7 to 9, I'm sure they don't care, but we're past 9. Yeah. Right.